questions being raised tonight as well about a safety feature that's designed to prevent these types of crashes. They are called bollards, and you can see these cement structures lining the sidewalk right along Washington Street, stopping at the point where the SUV crashed into the restaurant. Why? Well, the I-Team's Ryan Cap has been digging for answers. And Lisa, we've learned these types of crashes are actually pretty common and they're often deadly. The bollards are supposed to improve safety, but we found there are no rules that require them. Just in the past few weeks, we've seen several of these accidents. A car plowed into a Dunkin' Donuts in Lynn, and in Norwood, a car smashed through a Starbucks. According to the Storefront Safety Council, these crashes happen 60 times every day across the country, killing 500 and injuring thousands every year. Leading experts from Texas A&M told the I-Team these short cement pillars, known as bollards, can save lives. You're not thinking about the vehicles driving by in the parking lot behind you, and so you, you probably will never see the vehicle coming if it were to enter the store. And nobody thought a car would barrel through this West Newton intersection and crash right into Sweet Tomatoes, just inches away from a roll of bollards. Right next to the restaurant, there's a park area, and at some point, the city of Newton installed these concrete barriers along the sidewalk. You can see where the last one's positioned and how close it came to the path of the car. There are no laws in Massachusetts requiring bollards anywhere. But some cases do end up in court. A jury recently awarded the family of a Chicopee woman $32 million. She was killed in 2010 when a car smashed through a convenience store. The company had installed the bollards at some of its locations, but not all of them. And a bill requiring bollards to be installed in new construction projects is currently stalled on Beacon Hill. We've asked the city of Newton about the bollards near the crash site and are still waiting to get some of those answers. For the I-Team, Ryan Kath, WBZ News. Lisa? Ryan,